Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to Raising Girls in Israel. My channel is called Raising Girls in Israel because, look at that, I'm in Israel. And I have four daughters. <laughs> How did I get here is a long story. How did I even start the process of becoming a citizen of Israel is a long story. I will explain it one day, but today I wanted to just send out some encouragement and let all the moms out there know to stay strong in everything that you're doing and whatever your goals are strive every day to reach those goals every day you know don't just strive do it take steps to do it make a plan to achieve the goals you want to achieve make a plan to be where you want to be in this life and to live where you want to live in this life with your children where you want to raise them everything you know it's very important it's very important that we choose to live, to really live our lives. Times when you have kids, you lose track of living, you lose track of even yourself, or knowing what your goals are for your life. Recently, I was um, in this Bible group study. It's called She's Still There. And it helped me to realize that I'm still here. You know, I might be a mother of four, married, um, but my life is not just my children. My life is it's still my life, you know, meaning I'm still a person. I, I still have the goals and dreams that I had before I had kids. And I had kids early. Not really early, but what other people would consider early. You know, it's not like I was 16 or anything. I was uh, 19 when I got pregnant. Um, no, actually I was 18 when I got pregnant, 19 when I was during my pregnancy, and then right before I gave birth, I turned 20. <laughs> and then the year that I gave birth, I turned 21. Ask me how that is, I don't even know. I guess because my birthday is at the end of the year. When I found out I was pregnant, I was, um, it was a little like towards me before I turned 19, I found out, and then I turned 19, and then um, yeah, so, you know, it was like that. It was strange, but however it happened, I'm, t I'm 21 years older than my daughter. Um, I wasn't pregnant for three years, no. <laughs> but when I look at the dates and times, it felt like it. But anyway, um, she's one of the reasons that I ended up in Israel. Also, my husband, but, um, yeah. One of my goals was to become a psychiatrist and, you know, I just wanted to share with you guys that, you know, for me, my life is like a psychiatrist. It's crazy because everywhere I go, everywhere I turn, I'm counseling someone, helping someone, being there for somebody, focusing on how I can change someone's life and make their life better. Yes, these are what the apartments look like in Dimona, in case you want to know. I live in Dimona, Israel, so yeah, but um. You know, I've been taking every step that I could possibly take to be ready to become a psychologist. I try my best to listen. Like when people really come to me with their problems, then I try to listen. And, you know, I want them to understand that I hear them and I'm there for them. And same with my friends, with people I know, with people I don't. If I can help, then I'll do it. If I'm needed, then I'm there. If, if possible for me to be there, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? because that's a dream of mine. So my if my dream is to become a psychiatrist, then I have to take the steps that I can take right now to do that. Um, one of the steps that I'm trying to take right now is to pay off my class so that I can get back in school. I have seven months left, I'm very proud. So I'm almost there. Anyway, thank you guys for listening today. And I, I hope that you understand to just choose to chase after your dreams and chase after your goals. And I will talk to you guys later. I'll share another video later. Hopefully um, a video about, you know, just what's going on in my life in Israel and with my four daughters who have natural hair. All of them have natural hair. I'm going to make a slideshow for you guys and show you the different styles that I do on their hair to keep their hair protected over here. But for my baby girls, I only do ponytails because they're still in daycare. And every day they come home from daycare, they have sand all over their hair. So I'm like, Pff. I'm not about to braid their hair. I do their hair in three ponytails a day, and that's good enough because their hair is still growing healthy and beautiful. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for watching Raising Girls in Israel, and I hope that you subscribe and like. Bye.